So his name is Bunyan, is it? Well, no man is coming into this territory without first asking my permission. <laughs> I don't care how big they say he is. Tree in the land's gonna fall. Timber! And you can thank Panhandle Pete for it all. <laughs> Rankin Bass present Festival of Family Classics. wild and woolly tale about a legendary American folk hero, Paul Bunyan. So bring on the whole family. How about another one, Uncle Fred? Please, please. Well, okay. This story took place not a mile from where we're sitting at this very moment. Right out there, yonder, by the big falls, folks talked about how the big Niagara Falls was the work of one man. Wow. A man bigger than life itself. He's a legend, Paul Bunyan, known throughout the land. Paul Bunyan, with a big axe in his hand. What a mighty name, Paul Bunyan. And here's how he earned his fame. It all started at Panhandle Pete's Lumber Camp. Now, old Panhandle was one of the orneriest lumber bosses in the North Country. And to say that he was a big fella, well, that would really be underestimating the situation. Now, there's been too much plain loafing on the job going on here. So from now on, Everybody works 16 hours a day instead of 15. Then we got cleanup duties around the camp here. Should take another five hours. So that'll leave you all a good three hours for loafing and sleeping and doing anything else you can think of. Now let's get moving. <laughs> Now, two of the lumberjacks, Crosscut Kelly and Stump Watson, had had about all they could take of Panhandle Pete. Stump, I can't take a minute more, I tell you. I've had it. Either we both head out of here tonight, or I'm gone alone. You're right. What's going on here? In my camp, a man either works or sleeps. Can't have nobody just wasting time talking. We got half a forest to cut tomorrow, so <laughs> it's gotta be tonight. You're right. Let's move. And that's how it all began. Working and slaving, the ends never meet. Can't make a dollar with Panhandle Pete. He was a giant. Our home was a jail. So one day we took off and hit the old trail. We met our Paul Bunyan, baby crib and all. Paul Bunyan, half a year and six feet tall, floating down the stream. Paul Bunyan, seemed like a dizzy dream. I just can't believe me own eyes. Do you see what I see, Stump? I think I do. Let's try and get it up here close by the tour line. Hey! Look here. Seems to be a note scribbled out. Let me see. Dear, to whom it may concern, our baby, 
Paul Bunyan was getting a mite too big for us to handle. Please try to take care of him and give him a good home. Paul Bunyan? <laughs> well, I guess we got us what you might call a handful. <laughs> Well, they adopted the baby Paul right there on the spot. He kind of made them forget about their own troubles, since it was all they could do to manage to take care of him. Yes, sir, he was quite a baby. And did that boy grow? Seemed that every morning Crosscut and Stump woke up, Paul was another foot higher. Meanwhile, Panhandle was in a rage about losing two of his men. What do you mean you can't find them? It's been months now. I want Kelly and Watson, and I want them back now. Come on, let's get out of here. But Paul and his uncles were hidden safely away in a canyon. And as the years passed, the boy began to change. Paul Bunyan, will you touch the sky today? Paul Bunyan. How big will you be? Just a boy in every way, Paul Bunyan. The tall, the old pine tree. Betcha he reaches up to Panhandle Pete's belt buckle by now. Wouldn't you suppose? If he keeps eating and growing at this rate, he'll be bigger than Pete in no time. Hey, give me a hand grease in this here griddle. Or should I say, give me a foot? <laughs> need the firewood cut so fancy, you know. He's here at the beginnings of buttons for Paul's new shirt. It's a present for his 10th birthday. What's you doing there, Stump? Are you in the cattle business now? Yeah. I figure it's time Paul had a new pair of shoes. And it'll take about this many cows to do it. He's 12 years old today, you know. One. Two. Now, just you wait One, a minute. two, three. Just what do you think you're four, doing? I mean, shooting five, the grounds, playing the buttonholes. What? Making Paul a shirt. And you can't make a shirt for a 15-year-old boy that don't have buttonholes. <laughs> 